Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to test material hardness using a digital durometer. For this video we are using a Shure A digital durometer. There are three main types of digital durometer. There's the Shure Double O. This is suitable for extra soft and soft rubbers such as sponges, foams, gels or very soft rubber. The Shure A, which is used in this example, this is suitable for testing medium hardness subjects like rubber, some plastics, leather, wax and multi-grease. And the Shure D, this is suitable for medium and hard rubber and plastics such as thermoplastics, flooring and bowling balls. To navigate this durometer, there are three easy to use buttons. These are H, this is the hold key, on off and the zero setting key. Then there's a the sensing pin on the bottom of the unit. To get started, install the batteries into the top of the unit with the positive side facing up. If the unit does not automatically switch on, press the on off key to switch it on. For measurements, the thickness of the measured sample needs to be more than 6mm. If your sample is not more than 6mm, layer it with the same sample, but do not use more than 3 layers. Further, ensure the measuring point is at least 18 millimeters from the outside edges of the sample. To take a measurement, ensure the display is at zero. If it is not, press the zero key to re-zero the instrument. It is best practice to measure three points and take the average value for your final measurement. To measure, hold the device firmly in your hand and press against the material to be tested. The measured value will display. Take two more measurements and average the result. For this example, our hardness value is 56.3. As you can see, the measured value disappears from the screen once pressure is released. If you wish to keep the reading on the display for straightforward recording of results, simply press the hold key when the measured value is displayed. When the sample is removed, the reading will remain. The hold function is indicated by the small h on the LCD. To release the hold function and return to normal measurement mode, press the hold key a second time. To take further measurements, always ensure the meter is at zero, then take measurements again as described. And that's how to take a sample hardness measurement using a digital durometer. For more information on this or other durometers, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.